G'day, world! <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to another Brew by the Bay beer review at Brew by the Bay headquarters. And today we are going to be doing resin from Six Point Brewery. They are out of Brooklyn, New York. This is a new release for them. And we just picked up three four packs uh, over at Hair the Dog over in Easton, Maryland. And thank you, Brian T., very much even though you didn't know that it was there yet, but <laughs> um, heard a lot of hoopla about this and Untapped has actually created a special badge for this, so figured we'd at least give it a try and with Connie not being a hophead, no. uh, I might end up drinking most of them. I'll try it anyway. <laughs> I'll get a badge out of the deal. <laughs> so on the back of the can it says, whatever flames upon the night man's own resinous heart has fed, resin is the sticky quintessential of hops that quells the encroaching malt sweetness. So, give it a try. It is 9.1 ABV, 103 IBUs. I'm not holding out much hope on this one. <laughs> I'm thinking it's going to be very sticky and pretty delicious. I like the malty <laughs> sweetness. <laughs> so let's crack open a can and see what it's all about. And then we'll be checking into Untapped to make sure we get the badge. Tamashi wants some. Oh, look at you that. Want some, buddy? Just say when. When. Okay. Pretty um, dark and golden. That's pretty dark. So the appearance, as you can see, is a burnt orange. I would say a very yeah, burnt, very amber colored, very burnt orange, <laughs> and very hoppy smelling. <laughs> much darker than what I expected it to be. Let's dive right into this, and we'll get down to the aroma, the taste, and uh, our final verdict. Lots of Wow. Very fresh, fresh hops. At the bottom of the can, I neglected to say, uh, we are instructed to please keep refrigerated. This ale was dry hopped with fresh hops. So that mm -hmm. would be why this is smelling so fresh. and Floral. Uh, Very um, nice hoppy bouquet. This is very, these are fresh cans. Uh, these are probably about two weeks old. So this should be a, a pretty good treat here. I'm not getting a lot, lot of, uh, no, she's drinking already. Hey, it's a girl thing. <laughs> drinking it already. You're busy talking. I am getting resin. I am getting almost, um, not floral, but just really a sticky. Kind of, it, it's like when we go to the Heavy Seas Brewery and we do a tour, which we do quite often, and they'll hand out the fresh hops, and your hands are just covered with this sticky resinous. That's what it smells like. I've had more bitter stuff than this. That's not 103 really? IBUs. All right, well, let me dive in. Cheers. Really dry finish. That is a very dry finish. A lot of roasted malt up front, and then it just, it's a hop wallop on the end. It's very hoppy. Uh, I don't think it's, I, I, I have had, I have had yeah, I'm not much. not getting 103 uh, IBUs out of this. But. It is definitely a bitter beer, but it I wouldn't say 103, but it's, uh, pretty sweet. It's it's uh, there's definitely some sweetness to it. And at 9.1, it's, it's it it's, earns it earns the name resin. It re it's resinous, very It's very sticky. Uh, you can definitely feel the alcohol. Uh, there's no alcohol flavor, 
per se. Mm -hmm. uh, not, I, I, not I'm not getting burning. any alcohol burn not at all. Not burning at all. Hey, no. come on, stop. I'm not getting any alcohol burn. Uh, just the alcohol warming, if, if you know what I mean. For a 9.1, there's... Give it a quick swish, and the head pops right back up, uh, as you can see. So, it's a pretty thick... A lot of viscosity, a lot of legs on the glass. Sticky. Sticky is 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 a good way to wow for not being a hot it's, head. It's not as bitter as as the box says it is. So um, in the summertime, I could drink one of these, yep. but not my first choice. You know. Well, I it, prefer stouts or porters or or a lager, nice sweet lager. But, um, that is definitely not as hoppy. The resin is definitely there. Yeah, it's not as hoppy bitterness as I thought. I'm not getting a lot of um, tropical fruits out of it. Mm -mm. I'm not getting the grapefruit pineapple -y thing. I'm just getting a lot of hop sweetness mm -hmm. in the in in the nose and in the taste. It's a good beer. Real, real dry. Uh, yeah. Aftertaste. The finish is very dry. It's very. Uh, very tasty though. I don't know if I could drink more than two of these at you know in an evening. It's uh, they're very filling. Uh, I think it's a good beer. It's definitely worth seeking out. It was well worth the half hour ride for us to go out and pick you it up. Drink and uh, absolutely. You will. And I would say we got to get our grading system down here because sometimes we're doing letter grades sometimes we've been doing number grades so should we do numbers we should just do number on a scale of one, one to, to ten. ten. One to ten what do you think first of all i know it's not your, your <laughs> no, i'm not your, a hop drinker your, so there's not a lot for me to mentally pick out of the front of my head and say oh it was as good as or worse than so um not scary bitter, like mm -hmm. the box says at all. No 103 IBUs in that getting, beer. I'm not no getting way. I'm not getting 103 IBUs. But if you like the taste of a nice sticky, it's, sweet hop, it's sweet up front, and the hop finishes in the back, mm. which is usually Dry. the other way around. Yeah. So, scale of one to ten. I'm only going to give it a five because it's not my kind of beer, but okay. I'm sure you like it a lot better than that. Uh, I do like it. It's not a session beer, not something I could drink a whole lot of these. Definitely worth trying out if you're a hophead. Give it a try. I think it's a very good effort from Six Point, and I'm going to give it. I'm going to give it seven and a half to an eight. Um, well worth a try. And there is a lot going on here. It probably probably changes as the uh, as it warms up a little bit. But we're just going to do a short video on this one, so we won't come back to it. But uh, well worth a try. And I'll take my badge now <laughs> <laughs> and have a cujo after. <laughs> or the Yeti Oak Aged Imperial uh, Stout Espresso Stout that you bought as well. So well, that's a mighty big bottle for the <laughs> afternoon. <laughs> Definitely worth a try. Resin, nine point one ABV, hundred and three IBU, which we both kind of don't agree with that it's as bitter as that. Six Point Brewery out of Brooklyn, New York. It's a good beer. It's well worth a try. It's a solid effort. Uh, I believe it's a year-round offering from them. It's a little tough to find right now since it's so new. But give it a try, and my grade, 7.5 to an 8. Uh, I like it. I think there's a lot of other beers in this uh, in this style that I prefer, but it is good. I will enjoy it. I'll enjoy all the ones we got that we have that we picked up today, and uh, give it a try. And remember, life is too short to drink crappy beers. Cheers. Thanks. Bye. Hello everyone. Well, we're back. Uh, <laughs> addendum to the first. <laughs> Connie decided that we needed to do an addendum to the resin. It's, well, been, it's been about 15 minutes 
since we've opened this, and this is what we have left. Uh, Connie drank hers surprisingly. It was just a little bit. Um, but this is what we have left from the from from the from the can that we just opened up, and this has changed drastically in the 15 minutes now that it's warmed up. Which, as we've been told, they don't drink ales cold like Americans do in England. Yeah, but, um, and that's where you get the term a pint of bitters. And the bitterness has really ratcheted its way up the scale still here. Don't think, don't, still don't think <laughs> still it's still 103. Still not 103, still, no way. Still don't think it's but, 103, um, but it is... For me, I think it probably jumped from a 50 up to about an 80. <laughs> but I can tell you right now, it's... Because I made a face this t <laughs> that taste. <laughs> it's very piney now. It's, uh... Very, very piney. Super hop wallop up front now, instead mm -hmm. of in the back end. Mm -hmm. And, uh... I'm going to stick with my original grade. I, I, I think it's I think it's a good solid seven and a half B seven and a half to an eight. I think it's a good solid B beer. Uh, well worth a try, but just be forewarned as it warms up a bit. Let it warm up. If it, you if you really like the hot bomb, let it warm up before you drink it. Don't drink it ice cold. It it will I don't open think up. It's meant to be. It will open up as it uh, as it warms up. Anyways, that's it. <laughs> and uh, once again, cheers. Joy.